Welcome to Sunset Country Quilters Guild Miniature Block of the Month for 2022. I'm very excited to walk you through um, the challenge of small quilts. Teeny tiny, itty bitty foundation paper piecing. Don't be alarmed. This is really a very simple process to do and it requires some very specific equipment and patience. So let's see what we need. First of all, a good sewing machine in good working order with a quarter inch foot for piecing our blocks together, but more importantly, an open toe foot for the paper piecing. We need to be able to see where we're sewing as this is a sew by number, sew on the line um, process. We also need a rotary cutter, preferably the 28 millimeter with a brand new blade. I just changed mine because I was having trouble with it. I also advise um, a second one. If you're changing your blade out and you have another um, piece, you can put your older blade in here and use for paper. You can cut the paper patterns apart with a rotary cutter, but use it only for paper. We need some specific rulers, a very narrow one for trimming our seams as we go. A larger one, conveniently, I have a two and a half inch, which is our most of our blocks are going to be two and a half inch when we're putting them together. And the finished block of the four pieces will be a four and a half inch. So I really like the Olfa um, rulers because of the simplicity. There aren't as many marks on it, it's easier to see. But any um, other brand of uh, two and a half and four and a half are really helpful. A six and a half and larger we'll be using for. Um, putting once we're squaring things up. So that'll be for a little bit later on. We need a pressing surface, which is what I have here, a wool mat. Um, I have also used just a very good linen towel, a cotton towel folded a couple of times. And this is a pressing device that can be used in the process of piecing, um, pressing as we go. Um, but again, everything is in small here. So a small iron, such as this is also good. And if you have the something smaller even, I really like my, um, I'm not sure what this is called, clover, um, which is really precise, nice point, really good heat. If you have access to this, it's even uh, better. But any small iron will work for flattening things. This comes with a stand here. Uh, we need some best press, um, which will really help get our seams flat. <laughs> And in the process of piecing, this is the other odd thing. You might have wondered what this is doing there, but this is a folding template for every every step that we take. We'll be folding paper back over a, a nice firm line. It's a piece of cardboard, happens to be from a grain and <laughs> rice package. So just a good weight. Um, it's only about six inches long and an inch wide. That's all you need, a file card, a postcard. My grandson's hockey card would work too, but whatever you have for that. So those are the things that we need in as far as equipment goes. So gather those up and now we'll talk, we'll next talk about fabric selection. <music> 